Hi there. Hello, welcome to yet another tutorial session. Today we are going to look at the clone feature, how different it is from the old version that is 2018, and how we are going to set custom keys using the custom button and as well as keyboard configurations. So first of all, we are going to look at how different the clone feature has changed. So we'll go to the old version and look at how it went. So in the old version, what happens is if I have a song playing in say index A and I would want to clone, I just head to the scratch panel, then click yeah. the clone yeah. deck button to yeah. deck B. So I click on it, then I have my song playing in deck B. It's the current state that it was in deck A. Same way if I have a song I would have to load a different song here. So if I have a song reloaded in deck B and I would want to clone it to deck A, I would just press the clone button to deck A and there I have it. And also another thing I want to highlight is that the clone feature with the clone buttons here, um, it doesn't matter which deck is active. Whichever deck that is active, you can still do your cloning. So if I have this song playing in deck A, then I have deck B active and I still want to clone from deck A. So just go ahead and click the button that points to deck B. And then I'll have the song going from deck A to deck B. Which, and the same way applies to the Now, so let's head to 2020 and see what has changed. In 2020, you can see the clone button even in the scratch panel. And if there are songs loaded in both decks, there's no way you can do a clone that is using the interface. Unless we have one deck unloaded and then we have the clone deck button visible so I can have this one playing so if I want to clone from deck B to deck A I would have to unload deck A then I'll hit the clone deck button from deck A then I have that one too so let's see, we wouldn't want to be doing this. So what do we do? Now there are two sides to the cloning. We have the clone deck and then we have the clone from deck. We are going to look at the two and then we'll look at how we are going to use our custom buttons to also do that. Right. So let's, let's head straight into it. So I go to settings, go to controllers, and then I would want to use control left and then the control right for that. So I will first of all use clone deck. So control left to clone deck two, and control right to clone deck one. I will save it now let's see so I have I'll load the difference of in deck B so I have deck A playing I have deck A playing and then I, I would want to clone it to deck B I will have to turn on my on screen keyboard so that you know what is you see what is going on. So I press control right. I have my song playing in deck B. If I would want to, I would also want to clone from deck B. I'll hit control left. Yeah, but you could realize that when I was doing it. I will have to select the deck or I'll have to make the deck active in order for me to able, be able to clone from that deck. So let's see what happens if I don't select the deck as active. So I have a song playing in deck A. And let's say 
I would want to clone from deck A, but deck A is not the active deck. It's deck B that is rather the active deck. Let's see what happens if it's close. Perfect. I hit control. Right. I realized that it was the song that was in deck B that was cloned to deck A rather. Instead of cloning deck A to deck B. So it means that with clone deck, it clones only the active deck. Just the active deck. Regardless of what is playing. If the deck isn't active and you execute or you execute that command it will still clone what is active whether it is playing or not so what perfectly works with clone deck is another thing we'll look at um that one in a minute but let's look at what the clone from deck actually does now the clone from deck so here we have to change it to clone from Then control right to from deck. Kindly take notice of the underscores in there. Right. So right away, I have this song playing at deck A, and then I would want to clone it to deck B, but I still have my deck B active. Let's see if the same thing happens. So, click control. Yeah, right. No, it closes. It's no hassle. Let's see what happens if I'm going from deck B. I still, it's deck B that is, sorry, it's deck A that is active. Okay, but I want to clone from deck B, which is not active. I do that. Press it. Control. It's close with no hassle. Now, if we still want to use, if we still want to use the clone deck feature, then it means that we will have to add another action, because we remember that originally or initially, if we want to clone, we have to unload one deck before we can clone the other deck. Because before we can actually be able to see the clone deck button on the decks. So we can say that if I press control right. Unload deck 1 and clone deck 2. I press control right on load deck two and clone deck one. So let's see how this one also goes. So I will have deck B active, but I'll still play deck A. Now let's see what happens. Control right, and yes, it works perfectly. So let's see. So I'm running the B, but the A is active. This one also works perfectly. So we can choose between whichever way we want it. And then whichever way we are comfortable with, whichever command we are comfortable with, and then we go with it. So we, we go straight ahead into how to do it for the custom button. So custom button is straightforward. You just have to click on it. And then I will say that I would rather want to use the... Okay, so let's try both. So unload deck one and clone deck two so i would say clone one and this one will just be clone sorry 
do a clone from deck so clone from deck see so we say we call this button clone two and close it we have them here so the same thing applies here nothing changes it's just the deck name so this one would unload deck two and clone deck one. So this is also clone deck one. Now this one clone. For this clone, so okay, so we are done. So if I have this song playing, I would want to clone this one. When I click this one, it works for me. Realize that it just this happened here. Let's try this button too. Still playing. It works perfectly. The same way it's, it's going to work from here. But you realize that. You realize that any time we clone a deck. Say I am playing a song in deck A. And I clone it to deck B. I would have to move the crossfader here so that if I should load another song in deck A, it wouldn't interfere in whatever I would do here in the master output. So we will end here, but in, a, in the next tutorial, uh, we will actually look at how we are going to set two actions as we did for the load deck and then clone from deck feature. We will actually look at how to set two buttons to clone the deck and then shift the crossfader to the opposite there. Right. That's what we are going to look at in our next tutorial. That's all. The purpose of this tutorial would end it here. And you do have a good time. Make sure you like this video and you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a nice time.